I am here to tell you that Wix is the biggest scammy company that I have ever dealt with in my entire life. She knows everything about everyone. That's why her hair is so big, it's full of secrets. Hey, hey. I'm happy to describe the whole process. So if you go to Wix and you say that you're obviously interested in getting whatever room it is that you're looking at getting renovated in your house. Obviously for me it was my bathroom. I have got before and afters and I will happily share every single video that I've took of this process with years along the way. So go to Wix and I end up meeting the design consultant Mark. My specific experience is the one in Liverpool in Aintree. He was like, right, I'll come out, I'll measure the bathroom and then I'll get you back in and we'll do a design appointment. So we did that, come to my house, done whatever measurements that he needs to do, the basics. Then had the design meeting about a week later, went through the whole design, sat there, it was about two hours long or maybe a bit less. At that point, you are from paying for a single thing. You don't have to agree to anything at that point. You'll design everything out. In that time for measuring, he obviously gives me a catalogue and says, you know, go through that and tell me what you want. At this point, I kind of had a rough idea of some of the things that I wanted. Like I knew I wanted the panel shower door. I knew I wanted a walk-in shower. But I wasn't too fussed on like what toilet I had. I wasn't too focused on like what tile because it's quite a small bathroom. So I knew I didn't want it to be too vocal. Wasn't bothered about the lights, whether it was spotlights, anything like that. Anyway, fast forward to then we're designing and there was a couple, this is where I had a couple of issues. So there was a couple of design elements that we did that weren't fully explained. And I am going to be that girl that explains it for you. So if you ever get there, like I did, you know, we can't, we're avoiding that, right? It's okay, baby girl. I had, when I moved in, like a leak in the corner. Obviously, this is a personal situation, but I had a leak in the corner of the roof that was above the bathroom. So, like, the coven had kind of, like, got nasty. Oh, you nasty. So, I knew I needed that doing, and Mark knew that too. So, he was like, well, if you're going to get your ceiling done, why don't you just get spotlights? What we can soon tell you is when you get your ceiling done, that's an additional cost on top, obviously, your bathroom price, which I'm going to go through all the prices with you now. He also didn't tell me that getting a ceiling done didn't include it getting painted or PVC or anything like that. You don't even get that as an option. So my bathroom ceiling currently isn't even done, so my bathroom is still not complete. With spotlights, I don't recommend spotlights unless you really, really want them. So for me personally, I got four spotlights in this tiny box bathroom that cost £140 from Wix. I then had to pay, which doesn't get explained yet, I then had to pay an additional £260 for the fitting. Why would I buy the thing if I'm not going to get it fitted? And that's not even including in, like, your fitting of, like, getting... I was stupid as well. I went and got Wix and installers. That isn't included in an installation fee with them. That's an additional cost that you've got to pay. Same as the extractor fan. So I was paying an additional £186 for it to be fitted. Make it make sense. Why am I buying these items for them to not be fitted within the price of the fitting? The ceiling's obviously a shambles, so if you are looking at getting that done, obviously make sure that you've got like a painter set up or you start painting it. Because my issue now is obviously all the furniture's in there that I don't trust myself to not hit a single thing. Obviously you get the choice of picking certain elements to it. It is your bathroom. He'll then give you the price. That price is shit. Do not listen to that price at all. It, it will never, ever, ever, ever be that price. This is why I think they're a scam. Tell me straight up front what my price is going to be so I know exactly what I'm paying. No, it, honestly, it's a shambles and I can't believe they get away with doing this to so many people. So they'll give you some price that will never, ever happen. So they said to me it was just over £8,500. The bathroom suite was about £4,500. And then for the installers, it was just over £4,600. So that's kind of how it went in, in the price. You get some discounts, so that's why that price is a little bit different. So I did get some discounts on the bathroom furniture, so the units, I think the shower. So that's how it ends up coming to £8,500 anyway. So we've got like, I think I saved about £200 or something like that, which is all compared to the overall price. And I apologise about swearing, but <laughs> I absolutely hate every single part of this process. So I paid for that on the, around the 8th of December is when I decided like, right, I'm going to get it done. You go and you pay your 10% deposit. And the worst thing is, once you kind of have that design moment and, you know, you get that connection with the designer, once they've got that commission from the sale, they just do not care about your human existence at all. You're making when you mistake. walk out of here, I won't even think of you again. Yes, you, you will. Know that. No, I won't. Every time you, you see graffiti, you every time you see graffiti on the sign, you're dead to me. So you go back in, you sign your documents, 
and then they're like right you'll get a fitter you'll get they've got like a new thing with wix now where you get like a, a customer representative a representative that you're meant to be able to communicate with all the time and they basically talk to everyone so you don't have to keep going back and forth between everyone which you end up doing anyway because you don't do all so let's just brush past that when they tell you this amazing experience that everyone's loving no they're not then i got a call from the fitter joe who was supposed to turn up on like the following wednesday so i think we're coming up to like mid-december he ended up cancelling on me an hour before he was meant to be here due to like a, a child thing and then to sad turn up the next day and then he was an hour and a half late to that so i was kind of getting the vibe that i was like and how are these linked to wix like i don't understand the professionalism and what's going on here anyway he finally turns up and as already said you know obviously i had, I had tiles on the bathroom and they'd be ripped off there was a, like quite a high possibility i'd need to pay for plaster and now, one thing I do want to say with Mark, he did describe the plastering was like a potential additional cost on, on there. The total cost for the hidden cost was just over £1,300. Hmm. I didn't even pay that. So I was quite content with that because I was like, well, my bathroom is still under 10000 It's a really big investment, but at least it's done and it'll be a room I'll never have to look at ever again. It, it, it's done forever. So then the fitter come out and he was basically saying, well, you know, if I damage the plaster and I get to the boards, I'll have to replace the boards. And I'm thinking, you're the judge and the jury in this situation. How does this work without me being ripped off? Because if you're getting paid more and you're the one who can make that job happen, are you not going to make sure that you damage the board so you have to rip the board off and replace the board because you get paid more to do it? Do you get me? Like, I don't understand how that was, like, that's kind of decided by them at that point when obviously the problem's going to be there because obviously they get paid more money to do it. I had that conversation and then he was like, right, I'll let you know when I can book you in. The earliest he said he could book me in was the 3rd of January. He was like, you'll be my first job after New Year and we'll just get you going. So I was like, right, okay. Then got a call off Donna, who was my customer service representative person explain to me you know we need to start getting the items delivered to your house so the tiles and the shower door got delivered on the 20th of december the shower door was absolutely massive the tiles got left in the back garden until the job started and, and until they were needed just left on a pallet right in front of my back door for weeks on end the shower door was so big so such an inconvenience they put it against my fridge in the back kitchen every day i had to literally lift it lean it on me every single day to try and get inside my fridge i basically couldn't cook for about two weeks that was insane and the rest of the furniture come just after christmas on the 28th so the whole house was an absolute shambles as you can imagine radiator didn't even have any notification of that that come halfway through the job i thought we already had that so thank god in a way there was so many delays when it comes to the job which we will get onto the fitting now and the installation um because some of the items just didn't even turn up the vanity unit turned up damaged it was chipped so i had to ask for a replacement of the vanity unit the radiator descent was black but then the valves were like a gray just so many stupid things that you think and how have you made that mistake how are you this idiotic when you're getting this much money for it then joe had a conversation with me after he ripped the whole bathroom out stripped it all back then decided to tell me there was a problem with my roof that i'd already paid a thousand pound for a couple of months before that the overall price that he then gave me was just under three thousand pounds that i needed to pay him and you have to pay that when they finish the job tell me how that is like completely normal to do to someone so i live on my own i pay i, I bought this house on my own everything i do is on my own and now you're telling me that i need to find so i'm expecting to only be paying 1300 pounds and you're telling me that i need to overly double that and get that money within the space of a week how are they doing that to people how are they mentally putting people through that that honestly at that time i just i, I had a breakdown like I, I, what do you want me to do rob a bank i can't sell myself on the streets because i wouldn't make nowhere near that type of money i can't drug deal because i haven't got a brain cell in my head to even know what to do in that situation i can't rob a bank because i work for a bank make it make sense how am i making that money in that time so if you are delusional and decide, you know what, you're lying, I'm going to put you to the test and I'm going to go with Wix and see what it's like. 
I, let me warn you that you will need to have a massive emergency fund for whatever it is they're going to tell you there's a problem because there's a problem with everything because he found problems with everything the roof i had to get that done that was an additional like 220 pounds i had to replace the soil pipe that was an extra 60 pounds i had to get all the plasters on that was 840 pounds i had to replace all the board and obviously 840 pounds for that the ceiling's 96 pounds that doesn't include your paint the the spotlight to 260 the extractor fan is 186 or 96 one of the two i'm going to lose now with all these figures and this is all the top of my head because it's absolutely scarred me for life so i have to pay an extra 15 pound for the radiator valves because they made the mistake that i'm supposedly getting refunded for have i heard anything absolutely not it's just been an absolute fiasco it was meant to start on the 3rd of january i was home i was waiting i was putting my christmas decorations away didn't hear anything from the fitter and it was half one in the afternoon i'd rang the designer mark who was like oh i haven't heard from joe i hope he's okay no apology about how it's inconvenienced me oh let me just put my life on hold i'd book time off work to get this done don't mind you do not mind you it's fine yeah i'll just wait here like decoration it's it, i'm not paying nearly half a lifetime to get this done whatever it's not a problem so there was no apology on that front i'd spoke to, to donna the customer service and oh, i'll try and chase him up i did wonder where he was oh just shut up like no one no one apologized for what's going on joe finally messaged me back and told me um there was a personal issue to why he couldn't come on the wednesday he'll be there the next day he then didn't turn up the next day until half 11. that was like that every day he turns up when he wants he left when he wants it, the unprofessionalism is insane but the worst the worst part my house was used as a storage unit storage unit. every single room they took over every single one of them they opened me office that i had shut because obviously i have a lot of my harry potter merchandise in there i have obviously a lot of my work equipment in there i have that shut so that when i need to go to work i don't have to worry about all the dust in there it's insane like it's so dusty it's like it could no one's been in there for about eight to five years that's what it looks like i'm telling you for free i asked them in my spare bedroom so my spare bedroom had no door so i couldn't protect the spare bedroom they said please don't stay in that carpet because the carpet's only about six months old i've only just had it done i'm working on each room as i go the next one i had to do after the bathroom was the lantern there's stains on that carpet from the plastering there was a tool box and another box put on top of me bed, on top of me clothes with no dust sheet. There was just so much disrespect when it comes to how my house was used that I've been cleaning it today and you, the, honestly, the dust, it's just insane. It's like no one's lived here. It's that dusty. It's just ridiculous. The house is disgusting. There's marks all on the floor that I can't get off. You need to like proper scrub them. And I just think like, how have I paid just under £12,000 for this absolutely diabolical experience? Then for my house to be left worse than it was when you come. You're like, yeah, you give me a new bathroom, but now I've got to absolutely scrub every single room for months on end because the dust is going to keep falling. I understand dust comes from getting a job done. I'm not delusional in that sense, and I'm not blaming Wix for that. No matter who would have come, would have put dust in the house, like because obviously it's causing the house to have a little shake and a rumble and a tumble because it's thinking what's actually happening but to open rooms after that i've had clothes having them doors shut has prevented a lot of the dust like i always shut my bedroom door my bedroom was the only room they didn't put rubbish in but then i see him twice he come into my bedroom without me asking he come in and i had a this table next to me i had the documents of the wicks and like all the information on it he'd come in my room to take it and put it into my office why are you coming into my bedroom I also noticed, so on the 5th of January, it was my birthday, and they turned up at 12 minutes past 10 in the morning, and I was like, what time are you working until? So we worked about half five, six, when can you do me a favour, can you leave at half five? It's the only day I asked them to leave early, just because it was my birthday and they had plans. Any other time, I would never ask them to do that. Obviously, I want the job doing as, as soon as possible, like I wouldn't mess them around. I returned home at nine minutes past four, and they had left a quarter to four gone i'd come into my bedroom and my charger i sleep on like closer to the window so the other side of the bedroom compared to the door the door's right here and i sleep on that side. i'm actually in my bedroom at the minute which is why i'm describing it like you can see it you can't but um let the imagination fly so my charger for my phone is on that side and it's a, it's a massive wire it was on my bed so they've come in my room gone to my side of the bed grabbed my charge charge the phone every day they charge the phone every single day 
every single day. He'd left his charger in my wall. I'd be making cups of coffee, cups of tea, about five times a day, which is expected. That's like, the you know, you'd expect to do that out of care to see, you know, for doing the job. But the first two days, even just like the cheek, you can tell me whether I'm being like crazy, yeah. The first two days I was making the lunch, right? Because I felt rude, like my house is quite open. You go downstairs, you literally, as soon as you go downstairs, you're in the living room. So I felt rude if I had lunch and I didn't offer them lunch. So I made them chicken wraps on the first day. The second day, my auntie come and she brought them soup and, and, and made them ham sandwiches. The third day, they went out and the roof man was here. They went and got a McDonald's and didn't offer me anything and ate the McDonald's outside my house and brought the roof man a McDonald's and didn't bring me an offer. I would have said no, I'm trying to like cut that out anyway, but the offer... So I was like, why am I being a divvy cooking for you, feeling bad, and you're clearly don't care? I'm fuming! I want a McDonald's! I want to get fatter! But I just found the whole experience shocking. I hate the fact that my house is absolutely destroyed. I have wrote a massive complaint to Wix, and they just don't seem to care. It took over two weeks for the bathroom to be completed, so it wasn't even a quick thing. I had to use a bucket for two weeks. I didn't have access to the toilet properly as in like it was put in there it was never stable and you, there was no flush it was just a nightmare i had no sink in there for two weeks kept having to brush with you and it, it's then very small inconveniences but you just think like i understand the work was going to happen i understand it was going to inconvenience me for a couple of days i get that but for two weeks there was days where i'd get a text at eight o'clock in the morning just saying yeah we're not turning up today okay how is this professional? How am I paying nearly overall? So if I'm paying four thousand six hundred and then I've just given him just under three thousand pounds, that's like what nearly eight thousand pounds for the for, for the fitter. That's what's cost me all the money. And you can't turn up. Like what? If the job's okay, you know. I'm, I'm, you know, the bathroom's pretty. It was even little things like these open me lofts. I hate lofts. Like lofts scared of living daylight out of me. I wish I weren't that girl, but I am. And they kept leaving me loft lights on all night. So, like, it was just little things. It was little things that I'm like, my bills are just going up. You just don't care. I've just never met scruffier people in my life. They just, everything's a mess. I just don't understand how that's acceptable. How Wicks think that, that that's an okay service to give to me. Another issue that I've got, <laughs> I know I'm overweight, right? I, I've addressed that if you're not a returning subscriber. You know I've addressed this a couple of times. Also, welcome back on. Hi. Sorry, this is very press aggressive video, but I just... And I hope that I'm helping by putting this video out there to avoid anyone else from having this issue. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a chunky girl. I'm a curvy girl. I've got quite like a big bum, big hips, all this. So Shakira, Shakira. I physically cannot walk straight between my shower door and my vanity unit because I'm too big. So I am getting fat shamed from my bathroom that I've spent nearly £12,000 for. Make it make sense. Like, I don't... I don't get it. My mate just had a bathroom done and paid six and a half thousand pounds. Like, why have I paid double? And my bathroom's smaller. She's had a bath and a shower put in there. She's had them gorgeous shelves, you know, like the light-up shelves. Honestly, just being the worst experience I think I've ever had in my life. And it's put me off wanting to get any massive renovations done in the house. I just don't think I can mentally take that on again. And I just... The whole reason I'm putting this video out there and I hope that it has helped someone somewhere know to never ever get anything from Wix in your life. Do not get me wrong, in terms of the furnishing, I actually thought it was a, a reasonable price compared to other places, but then I'm <laughs> me by not sending you the correct things or it coming damaged and you're having to wait for a new one. I've, I just, I can't believe that they get away with doing it. But as I said, because they're so big, they just do whatever they want. And I've went through quite a lot of my complaints of what I'm not happy with. A lot of things just weren't explained correctly in terms of the additional cost. It was basically sold to me that these are your only additional costs. And obviously it wasn't, which is just ridiculous to do to a person. No matter whether you're one of 18 different people who can afford to pay for this house, it does not matter. No one should be put under that financial stress when we're still living in this living crisis where money is just going up, the bills are going up, and you can turn around and tell me that I owe you nearly £3,000 and I'm expected to find it in a week without having a mental breakdown. Like, it's just horrendous. I'm sorry that I've come across so passive-aggressive in this video and I, I, I feel like I, I reopen them emotions every time I talk about it because I feel like I keep suppressing them because I'm like... 
the bathrooms don't like allow that to be a relief and kind of focus on the on the positives of it but the whole experience was just the worst thing i've ever ever gone through in my life and i pray to all the gods that you research it so much more than i did get the best price for your bathroom get a gorgeous bathroom or gorgeous kitchen or whatever room it is that you're getting done so you never have to go through this type of stress and horrific experience that i've gone through it's just a rip off it's a scam so if you like these type of videos i don't go out my way to be scammers but if it happens please make sure you hit that subscribe button i really hope you're having a gorgeous day thank you for sticking with me in this video and yeah i hope to see you in another video but for now bye bye, -bye. <laughs>